from O five ten to present now. Figured you may be curious about the music. See attached file. O five ten. Security level zero. Item number SCP six thousand. Object class safe. Secondary class found you. Special containment procedures. Foundation personnel maintain several television broadcasting towers to transmit SCP-6000 globally. Per Project Day Sub Protocol, only Level 5 personnel may access this file. Description SCP-6000 is a 3 minute long Cognito Hazardous video of the Applied Force Department Symphony performing Never My God to Thee. The video influences the autonomic nervous system and hypothalamic trajectory adrenal axis, inhibiting fight or flight responses to stressors and regulating cortisol production. Upon Ethics Committee approval, the O5 Council commissioned the Memetics and InfoHazards Division to develop SCP-6000 for Project ASA. Exposure testing began on volunteer researchers after performance and recording. Addendum 6001 Testing Log Subject Dr. Chuck Ferguson Background Ferguson married his husband seven years prior to testing and had adopted an infant son three years prior. When he reports high relationship and household satisfaction, substantiated by testimony from close friends, he frequently stresses over a lack of interaction with his son and believes his husband may hold grudges against him due to this. Results Ferguson texts his husband, asking if they can discuss the situation later that day. Ferguson reports an in-depth, reflective conversation spanning their relationship history, familiar pasts, and favorite television programs. Among this, Ferguson's husband reassures that he holds no grudges over his more dominant role in their son's upbringing. Being Ferguson's government job, see Family Disclosure Protocol, However, he does suggest hiring a babysitter, which Ferguson states he'll contemplate. Subject: Agents of Vina Cortez. Background: Cortez immigrated from the Philippines to the United States after college, a decision heavily protested by her mother. With her enrollment in the United States military and subsequent foundation employment, her relationship with her mother grew increasingly estranged. Cortez regrets not contacting her mother, but fears a further divide in the relationship if she does so. Results Cortez calls her mother, who expresses shock from the sudden contacts. They set up a video call together for the day after testing. Cortez reports an initially stilted but progressively intimate conversation. Her mother interested in American life and Cortez in Filipino life. When addressing the initial distress over the immigration, Cortez's mother apologizes for her comments, noting how long she made them, but admitting she feared how Cortez would adjust. Subject: Dr. Everett Mann Background Mann, considering the eccentricity of his caretaker uncle, possessed divergent ethics from societal norms. After Mann's uncle died incarcerated, Mann faced social authorization from peers. In response, man sought comfort in science and learning. While man cites genius as diverting potential friends, others testify man outright rejecting social advances in favor of scientific pursuits. Results Man steps outside the testing facility, finds the nearest cliff face, and sits on the edge, silently staring at the night sky. When asked what he thought about, man states, we can all ascend. The next day, he sits at a crowded table in a Site 19 cafeteria, facilitating awkward but genuine conversation on rat biology. Addendum 6002 Project Acer Briefing Project Acer is a foundation led initiative to comfort humanity in response to a predictable, singular, and widely publicized XKN of the world scenario. Once such an event grows imminent, all Foundation personnel will gain access to files on Project Acer anomalies.